Hi. I just want to do a quick little video on a recap of March. Uh, thank you for being here and for listening. And I'm not sure how March was for you, but it was uh, rough at times for me and kind of challenging. Uh, when I had tuned in for the intuitive energy messages for March, I had no idea that there were going to be so many major planetary shifts this month. After I posted that video, I started to hear about all these upcoming big shifts and, you know, the effects that they could have. And I didn't really have a whole lot of time things were so busy to really look into any of that and was not thinking about it when I was affected energetically at different times until afterwards you know that whole retrospect thing but at the beginning of the month um, we had Saturn go from Aquarius into Pisces and that entire week actually it was like two weeks that was quite challenging for me. I almost quit my job and I had to come face to face with a lot of things that uh, had been building over time that I wasn't probably consciously aware that, you know, the amount that it was stacking up, you know, until like snap. And then <laughs> oh yeah. So I had to do, you know, a lot of inner work and uh, that takes time and that is, you know, exhausting at times too. Um, shadow work is, you know, a process and besides things coming to the surface, uh, I really had to put in place boundaries with people and also with myself. And, you know, that can be hard to uh, maintain sometimes, too, if you aren't being super consciously aware of it. Atlas wants me to throw the stick. Uh, so after that, uh, I had started hearing some more things about the planets, and I thought, I wonder if that's what was going on, you know, when I had this rough patch. And sure enough, it was. And then we had the, oh, that was also during a full moon, too. And then later in the month, we had the spring equinox, and that was immediately followed by a new moon. And then a couple days after that, Pluto moved into Aquarius. And that is another huge shift, even though it will be going back retrograde uh, for a while in June, I believe. Uh, before it moves again back into Aquarius sometime in 2024. But that's going to affect the next two decades. Um, major changes. Uh, the last time Pluto was in Aquarius was during the French Revolution, like the 1700s. And so there are a lot of things that could be... Um, ending and shifting and changing you know over the next of course things do over time but over the next couple decades we're getting a little bit of a taste of you know maybe a preview I guess before this retrograde hits and then it goes into um, place there in 2024 uh, there were different things happening too throughout the month my daughter had a couple illnesses and my cat had an abscess and it was leaking, you know, draining stinky, bloody infection juice. So he had to do an overnight at the vet the same time my daughter was sick. So I had a kid and a cat on antibiotics. Uh, yeah, it was just, I've had these like stretches of exhaustion. And the weird thing was with all of this, I didn't feel as overwhelmed as I thought I probably normally would. Just a minute, baby. I'll throw it in a minute. Tired, yes, and drained, and just like mentally exhausted. 
I had also set a goal for March to post at least one video or short every day of the month and uh, I succeeded <laughs> even with everything else that was going on um, but yeah so there were times that I would just have to lay down and I'm not much of a nap person but there were some times I just had to lay down and you know take a 15-20 minute nap or in the morning you know just take an extra 15-20 minutes just go back and lay in bed for a little bit and you know make sure that you are taking care of yourself listening to your body and doing what you need to do uh, to take care of yourself you know things do change and sometimes the old things we used to do just a minute baby may not be uh, working as well as they used to and you got to change things up and sometimes we have to go back to an old way of doing things uh, just to yes baby just to uh, kind of ground ourselves but another thing that I had to do was uh, watch some chick flicks and I'm not a big TV movie watcher but throughout the month there were a few times I just I I knew I had to purge and I just put in a chick flick and do the whole ugly cry as they say you know just let it all out and crying is a good way to purge your emotional body and release so I say if you got to do it um, I actually wanted to make this video a few days ago but I ended up with a stomach bug like a 24-hour stomach bug and feeling better now but now my daughter has it so you know it's just been a lot of those kinds of things this month and I just wanted to touch base with you and see how you guys are doing how are you handling this are you noticing some of the effects of all these shifts and changes throughout the month um, did you notice anything energetically um, and what did you do to help work through those and survive through those I, I kept going back to just a minute baby just one second get out there get out there Go. okay I kept going back to the message that came through for the intuitive energy reading for March and that was just keep going so I don't know how many times throughout the month I just kept telling myself just keep going just keep going one day at a time but let me know in the comments uh, how was March for you and how did you deal with it um, I hope things are well and if they were a little rough for you as well then I hope they're better now um, I am definitely feeling more of the uh, April energies coming in now um, especially since yesterday which was very noticeable uh, of a change for me so I will be posting the April intuitive energy messages uh, in the next day or so so you can keep an eye out for those and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you for being here. Bye.